That's pretty frozen. So we have a SEMA Noveski gun here. And so lately we've been building a lot of SEMA guns, but today we're gonna to find out how strong the gearbox is. So to accelerate the wear and tear, we actually have one sitting in the freezer right now for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna to try to see if we can break it today. Let's go grab it. Ooh, that's pretty frozen. Super cold. Yeah, you can see the condensation already on it. We'll get the the thermal camera and see how cold it is. So as the thermal camera is booting up, uh, SEMA did improve some parts of the gearbox. So they do have the front reinforced. It does use a slightly different tappet plate um, just to allow for more of the more metal on the, the shell of the gearbox. So hopefully it will last. Um, this is a DSG build, so we are, this is just a prototype te stress test. Um, we got a warhead motor in there. Um, we also have an air compressor to cool it, so we're gonna see how long this thing can run uh, before something breaks. Let's look at all the frosting. Kinda sick. It's kinda cool. Yee. Yeah. So is the camera, uh, thermal camera? Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, get the lens. So just cover. for some context, the human body temperature is about, is about, uh, what, 32, 33? And this yeah. is at negative 15. So definitely freezing. Yeah. So, all right, let's plug in the battery and see how it runs. The goal is to hit, what, like two minutes? One minute. Get the One timer. Minute. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yep. Ready when you are. Do a couple semi. Yeah, it cycles. Starting. Pretty good, less than a full minute. Wire is getting warm, so we don't want to destroy the wires. Do you see any uh, cracks on the front of your uh, box? So that's what we're really testing for. No, we got nothing. Nothing. That's pretty good. I don't think that shell is gonna break with this, with this uh, setup. So we have this what uh, SP one fifty spaced. Issues three hundred and fifty. Yeah. At about forty eight rounds a second, I believe. Almost fifty. Yeah. It's a fairly stressful build, That's especially good. while frozen. Mhm. Mm Not bad. Not bad at all. That definitely gets a pass. Actually, you want to go for a little bit longer? Let's try to see if we can do another minute. Nah, 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 nah. Nah? Nah. We can do air compressor test. Oh, we're going to have some ear pro. All right, sure. Can you hand me my ear pro? It's right there. Yeah. Hey, we're all getting a little deaf. Yeah. All right. 
So we had about a minute, so we will reset that. Let's go on for another minute. Ready? Yep. Warhead motor. I think that might be the warhead motor. So let's yeah. uh let's cool it down. About to give it that air assist. Mm-hmm. If you guys didn't know, warheads will automatically stop on their own if it thinks it gets too hot. Uh, we're gonna have to move that out. Yeah. Yeah, the air pressure probably sounds bad. So you guys might not even hear anything right now. Should I just keep holding this? Yeah, I'm gonna keep holding this and fire at the same time then. Do another minute. Like I said, just do another minute. This is actually a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely doing its job. Wires are getting pretty hot. It's um, almost, what almost we uncomfortable do is at times. We can cut this video right now. All right, we just put it back in the fridge for about 10 minutes to cool it down. We're going to try to run it for another minute. So we do have a fresh charge battery. The other one we brought down from 12.6 volts, fully charged, down to, uh, what was it, 11? What? 11.6. 11.6? 11.6. 11.6. So, yeah, we pretty much drained that battery. And this is the second one. Stop. Yep, overheat. Same thing. It's not a big deal. Yeah, well, the warhead's doing this job. Um, honestly, this is a pretty good improvement from for SEMA on their shells. Let me see if I see any cracks. No, I, I don't see anything. That gets a a pass from us. All right, so we have the gearbox open. Uh, as you can see, I don't see anything catastrophic, but let's go take everything one by one. There is an electrical smell coming from the gearbox, it, it could be coatings getting way too hot on the prune, but I don't see any damage on it. And it the gun did cycle afterwards. Let's take out the cylinder and check it. So yeah, the inner sections of the rail seems dry, but that's kind of normal from holding it down for so long. It, they get so hot, so all the grease is going to dry up in there. Yeah, the rails. Rails is a little bit dry. Do 
here looks good. Yeah. Not bad. Sector gear still strong. Spur gear. Put the bushing back. Still good. ARL. Yep, nothing. Nothing damage there. Yeah, it seems like this gun just needs to be uh, cleaned up. Ooh, what do we get? We got the we got the cylinder head padding coming off. Let's go check that. Ooh. Oh yeah, that came off. So from the high impact, wow, that could have caused a lot more damage inside. That's why we use Lonex. Yeah. This is not Lonex. Yeah. Yeah, Lonexes are a lot more uh, stuck on. Let me see that. So the glue failed. Yeah, glue failed. So if you do have a SEMA, probably wise to take this out and add the glue. As you can see, the it's not fully making contact. No, this it's is not the stock SEMA. Uh, this is Action Army, right? Or Modify? Which one? It's not Lonex. Oh, you're right. This is Action Army. Yep, this is an Action Army cylinder head. That's good that we don't use these. Okay. But Start. the main part that we were concerned with is the gearbox shell cracking. And obviously, let's see if uh, we see any signs. Yeah. I don't see any signs of it. We didn't see any signs of it earlier, but that was from the outside. Yeah, you can... Sometimes see micro cracks. No. There is none. Can I, uh, you move your hand? Yeah. Just pan the shot. That is just grease. Fine. Yeah, so we're going to get this uh, a, a different cylinder head, get it all cleaned up, and this gearbox will be in another gun.